Well, hello, everyone. It's Anita, your financial behaviorist. And here I am getting ready to depart some or impart or depart or whatever you want to part uh, some information, some tips, financial info tips for you today. So I want to talk to you a little bit about journaling. People always talk about journaling and so forth. They always talk about it. And one of the things they talk about journal is like, okay, so what's um, you know, what should I journal? How should I journal? All those kinds of questions. And journaling is really kind of a personal kind of thing for you, right? And so through this financial journey, as we talk about financial behaviors and uh, financial this and financial that and your relationship with, with money or your relationship with finances, I wanted to tell you that you can journal about your feelings about money. So one of the things I talk to people about when they come to talk to me is I always ask them what their relationship is with money. You know, how do you feel about it? Some people say discouraging, discontented, anxiety, anger, fearful, all of those things. So one of the things I have them do is make a financial affirmation with those words, which seems negative, but then if you turn those words into positive words, like for instance, if you say it's discouraging, right? I, I'm discouraged about my finance. I have anxiety. I have fear. So one of the things like I'm not discouraged about my money. I'm not fearful. I will have an overflow and I will not be discontented uh, anymore about my finances. <clears throat> so that's just a simple kind of affirmation. And then I also get them on the road to journaling. And you could have one, two journals. Like for instance, you could have your journal on your personal side about your day and the things that are going on in your life. And then you could have the financial journal or you could have them both in one journal. But here I have, a, I have actually have a journal for you. It's called Finding Your Financial Voice Through Journaling. And, it, and what it is, is just, it is paper right, that you can go in and then you can journal. But then there are some affirmations here. It says the more, this one says, the more I focus on my personal joy, the more I attract money resources that allow me to live comfortably, right? So the, this is the more I focus on my personal joy, the more I attract money resources that allow me to live comfortable. And so they're, they are with, uh, they're inside this book, throughout this book, you can actually find this book on Amazon, and I'm going to put the link to Amazon on when, I, when we're done with this, put the link on it. Or you can just email me at Anita Financial uh, Behaviors at gmail.com, and then we'll get you hooked up with one, right? This is actually my copy. It actually says office copy, but it's actually my copy. And I actually have not written in this. I have another one that I've written in, right? And then I have actually have two. I have one that's for personal. And then I have one that actually talks about my emotions when it comes to finances. And people think that I don't have emotions when it comes, because I, I talk about this, but that's why I can talk about it because I have such strong emotions about it. And sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, sometimes I'm the flavor of the month, and sometimes I'm not the flavor of the month. Sometimes clients pay on time, sometimes they don't. And so I always have to work, work towards having a positive outlook on um on on my finances as well a positive outlook so anyway <clears throat> finding your financial voice through journaling that's one way that's a way to uh and you can see you know it has the dollar sign and then of course it has a few in, uh, uh, information about about myself on there and why i actually uh created uh this uh this book right um and so it's about taking your holistic approach to money, focusing on enhancing your financial well-being uh, while helping you understand your emotional behaviors around money. This is one thing that I actually do. I also do a yin yoga, finding your financial, financial voice through yin yoga. 
Yeah, exactly, right? So right now we're just getting started. We actually have on ground, we'll probably be doing some virtual because I know there's a lot of people asking for virtual yin yoga, uh, financial wellness. And so we're gonna get that together for you. It may not be this month, of course, it's, it's already February, uh, we're going to do it the fourth Fridays of every month. So make sure that you put that on your calendar. Okay. So if you're in the Sacramento area, uh, make sure you look up on, uh, on our website. Uh, look under our group under Facebook, which is Money Wisdom for Women, or look at my name, Anita Johnson Financial Behaviors. So anyway, I want to go back to make sure that you get one of these. You can get them on Amazon. So I'm going to put the link on Amazon and happy journaling, happy journaling. Make sure you journal, make sure you talk with your emotion, get your emotions in order, because that's important. Uh, we could talk about spreadsheets and uh, me showing you how to do a financial spending plan, all those things. But unless your emo emotions are intact when it comes to your finances, you'll wind up on the same road. And I want you on a different road. So anyway, 